Hi, this is Bea and I'd like to go through the integration between Stratus and Avid editors. We have a couple of workflows to integrate with Avid. The first one allows me to transfer content between the Stratus and K2 system over to the Avid system. The second one allows me to edit in place directly from the K2 storage using the AMA link feature within Avid. So let me show you this one by one. First of all, if I want to transfer content, all I have to do is in Stratus, I find my clip, select that clip, I can send multiple clips, and then right click and find the menu that allows me to send to Avid. We have recently introduced the ability to send content to ISIS storage. In my case, I'm going to send to a standalone Avid Media Composer, which has its own internal storage. If you have an ISIS server, of course, you can set up multiple destinations to send to different workspaces. Now, this is showing me now progress of that transfer being sent through from the K2 storage over to the Media Composer local storage. If this was an ISIS workspace, I would also see this progress. So once the transfer is completed, you will see this drag me icon over here that allows me to very, very simply drag and drop that asset over to an Avid bin. Now, the process has actually created an AAF reference file over to the media files, the MXF files, that have been copied to either the ISIS storage or my local storage in my Avid Media Composer here. Now, Another thing that I wanted to show you is, as this clip over here that I transferred earlier, this clip had a number of markers within Stratus. So if I just quickly locate that clip and load it for you, there were a number of markers added by the users, producer, reporters, with the different markers and notes on, on those markers. So when I transfer that clip over to Avid, the markers also show up and all of the description and notes that go with those markers, as you can see over here. Here. Once I'm happy that I have the content that I need for my edit, let me just close that off. I can mark it in, mark an out point, and edit as usual within my Avid workstation. I'm just going to do that again, mark it in and an out point. And here is a couple of edit points. Now, when I'm happy that I have my final sequence, basketball sequence, I can just simply right click and send to, and, and I would have the preset over here on my Avid send to presets, which has the number of all of the different parameters that are required, such as, you know, my destination, different options in terms of, you know, what I want to do with the video, what I want to do with the audio. And we now have also the capability of transcoding that content. So let's say that your sequence is not on the same format than your Stratus house format because you're working most of the time on DB100 and let's say this sequence is in XDCAM HD50. So what we will do in the process is also transcode that video so that is on the Stratus house format, in this case DB100. So when I come over to Stratus, I can see in the monitoring queue that there is a job waiting to be transferred that comes from Avid and it's going to go to Stratus NK2 and it's called exactly that basketball sequence. So if I take a quick look, it's almost finished. And if I look inside the destination folder and look by creation date, I can see that right at the top, I have this basketball sequence, which is exactly what I've just edited in my Media Composer. Even before the transfer was completed, I'm able to load it. Remember, that's one of the great features of K2 storage. Growing files are fully supported. So even before the whole transfer is completed from Avid to Stratus, I'm able to load it in the browser, I'm able to add metadata or play it on air as I need to. So that's workflow number one, where you transfer content first from Stratus and K2 over to Avid, edit, and then send it back. And the Avid destination, remember, could be ISIS or it could be an Avid editor with standalone storage. The second workflow is via the Avid AMA. So back on my Media Composer, what I want to do is right click on the bin and do an AMA link. This allows me to navigate via Windows over to my K2 storage. This is the drive where I have all of the media in K2 storage. And here I can locate any of those files. So let's take a look at this one, for example. This is the file that I want to open. That will simply create a link. There's no transfer of media. And you can see the icon is slightly different. And this is the icon in Media Composer that shows me that this is the uh, media that is actually linked via AMA. So I'm going to create a new sequence over there and I'm going to say AMA sequence. And from here, just mark an in point, mark an out point, 
and edit that to the timeline. And remember here, what I'm actually doing is editing in place. So it's online editing, no transfer of content. At this point, what I need to do very quickly, and this is a requirement from the Avid side, is I'm going to just consolidate that media. And that means that I'm going to quickly create a local copy of the portions that I have used in my sequence. And once the sequence is consolidated, I can again send that back to Stratus in the same way that I did earlier. So final AMA. And now the process is exactly the same. And when I come back to the Stratus user interface in the monitoring queue, you can see an entry over here for that particular clip. And even before it's completed, I can see it over there and I can start playing it. I can see a thumbnail and the low resolution copy is created. So that's the second workflow that we have to integrate with Avid, the link via AMA, which means that you can edit in place directly with K2 content. So you have two options to integrate with Avid and Stratus and K2. The first one, as I showed you, was to either send the content over from Stratus and K2 to the Avid Media Composer or to the ISIS workspace. The second is to link via AMA and transfer the finished edit at the end.